Good morning, welcome to morning prayers from All Saints Lutheran Church. My name is Rick Bradley. And I'm Pastor Scott Nellis. We're glad you joined us this morning and you can follow along on screen the order of morning prayer and also the, the uh, reading that we've chosen for today. And again, glad you're here. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The reading I've chosen for today is from the fourth chapter of the book of Ruth. Now, in earlier times in Israel, for the redemption and transfer of property to become final, one party took off his sandal and gave it to the other. And this was the method of legalizing transactions in Israel. So the guardian redeemer said to Boaz, buy it yourself and he removed his sandal. And then Boaz announced to the elders and all the people, today you are witnesses that I have bought from Naomi all the property of Elimelech, Achelion, and Malon. I have also acquired from the Moabite, Malon's widow, as my wife, in order to maintain the name of the, deal, of the deed, deed with this property, so that his name will not disappear from among the family or from his hometown. Today, you are witnesses. And then the elders and all the people at the gate said, we are witnesses. May the Lord make this woman who is coming into your home like Rachel and Leah, who together built up the family of Israel. May you have standing in Ephrathah and be famous in Bethlehem. Through the offspring the Lord gives you by this young woman, may your family be like that of Perez and whom Tamar bore to Judah. And so Boaz took Ruth, and she became his one. She became his wife, and then he made love to her, and the Lord enabled her to conceive, and she gave birth to a son. And the woman said to Naomi, Praise be to the Lord, who this day has not left you without a guardian redeemer. May he become famous throughout, the, throughout Israel, and he will renew your life and sustain you in your old age. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you and who is better to you than seven sons, has given birth. And then Naomi took the child in her arms and cared for him. And the woman living there said, Naomi has a son. And they named him Obed. And he was the father of Jesse, the father of David. This then is the family line of Perez. Perez was the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ham, Ram the father of Amminadab, Amminadab the father of Neshron, Neshron the father of Solomon, Solomon the father of Boaz, Boaz the father of Obed, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of David. The book of Ruth might be summed up with these words from a poem written by William Cowper in 1778, God moves in mysterious ways, God's wonders to perform. Those words are not actually in the Bible, but a hymn was based on that poem. And the closest we come in the Bible is something Paul said, 
For who has known the mind of God or has been his counselor? For from him and through him and to him are all things. Or these words of Paul, all things work together for good for those who love him. We also know that God gives very ordinary people, sinners like each of us, extraordinary things to do. There was Moses, whom God chose to lead the people out of Israel, his bondage in Egypt, into the land that God had promised to give Abraham. Moses' response to that invitation, go find somebody else. I can't talk. And then there were the prophets who did not volunteer to be prophets, but were called by God and often complained to God for what they were being asked to do. Or think about the disciples Jesus picked. There was nothing special about them. A tax collector, some fishermen, including Peter, all of them sinners, and today's reading is about another very ordinary person, a woman named Ruth, a Moabite, an outsider. She was not a Jew. And yet she married one of Abimelech's sons, and tragedy struck Elimelech and both of his sons died, leaving Naomi and Ruth widows. And Naomi makes a decision that, to go back to Israel, and she offers Ruth the opportunity to stay behind, to be near her family. But Ruth wants to go with Naomi, telling her, wherever you go, I will go, and your people will be my people. And so Ruth goes with Naomi to Israel, where she meets and marries a relative of Elimelech and Mary, by the name of Boaz. And this happens to fulfill the Jewish law. And so we have this interesting story. Ruth, an outsider, as a baby and becomes the ancestress to David and ultimately to Jesus. So here are some questions I want to leave you with to reflect on. Do you think of yourself as more of an outsider or an insider in your relationship with God? Jot down a few reasons for answering that question the way you did. And do you consider yourself more of an ordinary person or an extraordinary person? And again, jot down some first things that come to your mind in response to that. I think back over your life what extraordinary things has God asked you to do? And what was your initial response? For most of us, it would probably be, you got the wrong person, not me. Um, which leads to another reflection question. In what ways has God gifted you? <clears throat> there may be one way to Think about that. Your response might be to ask yourself what your friends have told you you are good at. Maybe they've told you you're a good listener. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they've told you that you're <coughs> good at organizing things. Or maybe they've told you that you're a good cook. All kinds of things are possible. 
And the final question, what is keeping you from using those gifts that God gave you as an ordinary person to do extraordinary things for him, things that you never dreamed you could do and probably never even thought, never even dreamed of doing. Let us pray. Loving God, you sent your Holy Spirit to transform our fear into hope. Where our faith is weak, draw us closer to you. Strengthen our faith during this Pentecost season. Make us joyful, willing witnesses to your love for all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nurturing God, you desire justice for the hungry, the poor, the widows and orphans, the sick and those in prison, and the strangers in our midst. Bless advocacy work, food pantries, and feeding ministries everywhere. <clears throat> May we not rest until everyone, young and old, and everyone in between <clears throat> is cared for and respected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations and their leaders. In you, steadfast love and faithfulness meet. In you, righteousness and peace kiss. May nations in conflict and their leaders know the peace that is the fruit of justice, and that justice for all God's people is the only path to peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Holy God, the world in which we live needs to experience your healing presence and peace right now. We pray for your help as we work to tear down the walls that others build. Heal the divisions among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guard us from ambivalence. Keep us connected to you so that we might be instruments of your peace and love and bring hope to those who have lost hope. May the works of our hands and the words of our mouth bear a powerful witness to what you have done and are now doing in our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And today we offer prayers for those listed in our bulletin this past Sunday. Kay Schlebig, John Moneysmith, Dorothy Rochelle, Ralph Potus, and Bob Dove. We ask that you be with them, touch them, comfort them, and assure them that wherever they are in their journey of life, you are there with them. Let us pray as Christ taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your, your will be, be done, done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin, sin against us. us. Save, Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from, from evil. For, for the kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning, and we hope you'll join us again soon. If you would like us to pray for you, for whatever the reason, feel free to call the church office at 614-885-00. 0112, 885-0112, and leave any information that you would like us to know, your name, what you'd like us to pray about, and we will include you. Thank you again. God bless. <laughs>